All right, Sharon Kiss Mason Mason D. Today we have an old 1930-some-odd uh, Rolls-Royce cylinder head on the resurfacer here. And it's had some corrosion damage that the customer fixed and now wants us to resurface the head. This head's about 37 inches long and uh, quite a piece to put on our resurfacer here. We're going to show you how this is done. We're going to start by measuring the surface finish to see what we've got to, to work against here. Now remember that this is measuring five zones of 30 thousandths each. And it looks like we've got about 113.3 RA. We'll see if we can improve upon that. We're going to start by removing the majority of this material here. Well, you can see where the cutter is starting to drag on the back side here. And we've still got a little bit of a bump here. And we're going to have to take and machine this down flat. We're not going to try and straighten this at all. But with compression ratio around 4.5-5 to 1, it really won't make much difference. I'm going to spray a little bit of lubricant on here. As you can see, we cleaned up on this end here. Still got some to go here in the middle. And we cleaned up down here.
Well, as you can kind of see, it's uh, getting better here. Still got a little bit to take off here, but we're looking a lot better than we were. All right, I think we're all done here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the surface finish. Got one little area right here that looks a little funky, but it's nice and flat. Sometimes when you weld these heads, a little piece of uh, carbide or tungsten gets uh, stuck in here, and I can see it right there. And that's what causes that to happen. All right, well, we know we started with uh, 113. Let's see what we've got now. Oh, we got it down to an 18.1. I would say that's pretty darn good. Anyway, if you have questions about head resurfacing or Rolls-Royce engine rebuilding, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.